So, 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 fun fact, so today, a really quick Beyblade video on what to do, really quick, of course. So, we're right, going back again, okay, doing that voice kind of hurts a little bit. <clears throat> well, you got some new news, actually, for new Beyblade Burst series, so yeah, next Beyblade series will be Burst, um, it's about that, um, so yeah, we got some really good news for that, though, of course. Um, so we're feeling some quiet in here. Oh, no, I'm not used to it. But yeah, um, we need to get some new news, stuff like that, of course. But the next series is confirmed getting the first game of the series. Because in April of 2021, you should be getting, we're getting like a new battle set, a new stadium, new launches, and stuff like that. <clears throat> Excuse me, go there. I think it's called like Rumpa? Rumpa? Um, Rump, yeah, Rumpa, Rumpu? Um, like Rambo or something like that. Um, in February of 2021, we sh should be seeing that because again, when we get, a, when we get new, new, new baby news for a new series, it's always in March. April teaser image and like before that like February. Some of did a lot of Beyblade videos like or all the time I did like two or three like usually like almost like a week or two or a day or whatever. So yeah, um I was like holy crap we got a lot of news so yeah. Um so that that's when that, that kinda of came out. So yeah, again we should be seeing this um around like again like April um twenty twenty one you know, we'll, as we'll see like a new series teaser and images stuff like that. Um because I remember when that came out um I think I did a regular video for it as well. Again, it's been a long time since I did that video, so yeah. Like, now I don't have that video anymore, because once I'm done uploading the videos, I just delete them, because like, nah, I'm never going to use them again. For references, yeah, if I'm, you know I'm going to do it, but I just, just find like new information or whatever, usually. So yeah, um, it's confirmed we're getting like, again, new booster pack, Beyblade Stadium, new launches, stuff like that. So it's confirmed Bay Beyblade Burst is not ending just yet. I had a feeling, because I thought, oh wait, this could be the last series, because you know, all the great bladers. I feel like there's no, like, less than do and stuff like that. It is good to be in this series because I feel like Burst just comes so far and I feel like it's just gotten so popular and a lot of people love it. Me too, I've been growing on it ever since I first saw it. Like, I think it came home from school one day. I saw it, I was like, oh, Bailey has a new series on Disney XD, not Cartoon Network. Because it came out of nowhere and I was like, okay, I like it so far. It's good. But again, I fell in love with it when I first saw it. So, yeah, I can I can kind of agree as well on a lot of people like this. So, yeah, a good beginning, a new Bailey Burst series. It should be, again, like growing in April. Again, like, we're going to get news in like February, March. Again, Beyblade month is usually for me, it's like, with Beyblade, Beyblade videos, it's usually. March, April, all right, then back. I had to zoom in a little quick. I'm back to zoom in a little bit. So, yeah, um, like I said, though, we should be seeing all this stuff in March again. But Beyblade months are Beyblade months are usually in April, March, and um, April again. April, that's when we get the full image and stuff like that. You can see the image and stuff like that. Typical cool stuff. February, March again, those are Beyblade months and Doken kind of because you know, Doken kind of like for Dragon World, like uh, my other content on my channel, main one is usually Doken. Um, they usually get stuff like, because the anniversary is usually in April, stuff like that, so yeah. And every time it's going to be taking Dragon Ball Girl stuff for the game, so yeah. Again, I don't know when we're going to upload this video. I will try to push out all these Beyblade videos as soon as I can, because I got so, I got so many Beyblade videos backed up on this channel. So yeah. Of course, we got some more new stuff up here. For Rise, uh, for Surge, actually. I got, I got Rise in the head. So yeah, this is the Beyblade vs. Surge. It is technically Beyblade vs. Sport in Japan. It's Super King, it's like system or whatever. Um, so yeah, we have the full information for that right here. So yeah, um, we have the full stadiums. And it's sort of Storm Stadium. I guess like you can get them. Because that little pockets where you can gain speed. Um, the character, the character can spin place and stuff like that. Um, I did miss out on the last couple stadiums, though. So... It's kind of good. I can probably get this. You know, this is like again for us. It's like November or something like that. So you know, Christmas time. Um, I remember last year in October we got I was like yeah we got rise like October year around this time last year because I think rise is about to end. I think rise is pretty much already over already. I haven't seen like any of the English dub. I think all the Japanese stuff like that. I usually watch Japanese. I don't really watch the dub. Just for like in you know, context and stuff like that. Again, dubs and subs. I don't care. I like both. It doesn't really matter. I like hearing like little references in, in the dub, like little like, kind of clarifications and things I kind of do in anime, anime in general. And I watch the anime in Japanese, like full reaction and stuff like that when I first watch it. But when I watch it for like the English version, I was like, hey, it's okay. I mean, I haven't, like, again, I, I gotta get, go, get hooked. Because ever since Rise, I've been watching it. I was gonna watch God, but I was like, yeah, kind of behind already. So yeah. On um, this full stadium, on um, the stuff like that, of course, screenshots from Reddit. So I'll um, link, um, link the Reddit post and stuff like that below for you guys. Again, I kind of do forget when I upload the video. So if it isn't there, sorry about that. Of course, we got the stadium, and of course, um, we got Super Hyperion, and of course, um, uh, Hyper Hyperion and Super Helios. Um, of course, Super Helios is the last thing they played the blue one. I don't know name like that. Helios, you know, some guy. Um, and of course, for Hyperion, Hyper Hyperion, it will be, um, of course, the right spin baby blades. Yeah. Again, in the little pocket, you can get speed. It's like, the, um, it's, it's been like, like you know, the right stadiums with the performance and stuff like that. Having, like, um, you know, you can get speed and stuff like that with these guys. Um, I definitely know, um, it's really super heavy metal with the performance tips. are gonna be super heavy metal with it. So, um, and of course, we have, like, a chassis. You're not really a chassis, it's more of a, um, like, disc. 
um, like a layer disc kind of, it's not really a chassis, but it kind of is like a layer disc just to be there kind of. I don't know it's like a twist, like a chassis, which is a kind of thing. Because I know how Fairground had one, I was like, um, Helios, had one, Helios had one, I was like, are they just gonna take that out? Because I know I have like a blade mode with it and stuff like that. Like a 5, like 10 blade mode. I know how Helios had like close before we took it and get a little more speed. But again, the speed pockets, that's a big gimmick with um, Surge and stuff like that. I think right, um, Sparking did this as well. Again, same name and stuff like that. They did this with the gimmick with the stadiums where they had like a little pocket where you can gain speed. I think they had like two ones, like a big one and a little one. Um, I guess I could incorporate it in these little stadiums though, but I wouldn't mind again. I wouldn't mind getting this. It's pretty cool. Um, of course, it's supposed to anywhere here, so that again, sparking launch food, not sparking like in the middle and stuff like that. Um, with the you no know, sparks, like we work in Japan, you have like the whole sparks and stuff like that. Um, I don't think we like, um, light up and stuff like that, you know, like ability to have like in the middle, like, you know, the American, like little, um, sparking, um, they don't bob in the middle where you can like, you know, rip it, have like a little sparking effect around it, um, little lighting, like LED lights. But yeah, I mean, we already knew it was gonna be time typical, they never did it anyway, so it doesn't really matter. And we'll have like stream launchers, like sword launchers, have bros, stuff anyway, though, so. Yeah, so they get sword launchers, that was uh, apocalypse, I know they have one with that, so yeah. Of course, got Hyperion on Helios, looked really good though, of course, there was no colors, like, and they look really good though, even like without stickers or whatever. Um, look like they have stickers on them, but the um, material images that we got, so like that, looked like they didn't have stickers on it, good with like the Japanese promotional image. Or whatever. So again, it looks really nice. It looks really cool. The blue in the stadium, the stuff like that. Again, the little pockets of speed. That's what Surge is basically. Um, Surge Barking Super King, how you pronounce it. That's the main gimmick with these Beyblades. Where they have um, in the middle, like in the sides, look for the pockets. That they can gain speed, like little mini bursts of speed with the movement tips. I uh, have a movement tip specifically, but it's far along the circle. And we're looking up speed. It's like the, um, it's like the um, rail system, basically, where you can get like speed from the rails. This kind of a little bit more easier version of that when you're in the pocket, you can spiral it around, gain speed, and you're it as fast as you can. That's really good though, right there. Um, then right here, I know we have some more bays right here. Um, I think this is Brave Rocket War, so I was like, Brave Rocket Direct. Again, they kind of mix the bays into this type of thing, where it's serious and stuff like that. We have some new cars for big, yeah, yeah, sort of, yeah. I can definitely see that. Had like Sparky Chip and Rocket War, because they do kind of cross over this type of thing. So yeah, it gives you like no chassis, just like, you know. Uh, a disc and um, performance tip and stuff like that. That's how they can do these guys. Like for Hasbro, Hasbro is exclusive stuff. It's only for Hasbro. Jackers Army, Japanese version did not get this. So yeah, it's Brave Rock to War. Brave Rock Jack, you know, recolor with Rock to War in the middle. That's not bad though, honestly. Again, Sparky Tip in the middle would not be a thing. It didn't really matter to me because it's like, okay, you can customize it, change around a little bit because more custom ideas. It's like, that's pretty much it. Um, I guess only Beyblades will not have chassis though, of course. Yeah, a good crossover Beyblade right here. So you want to choose the you want your feet to the Rock to Vork, there you go. I don't think they're gonna do other Glad Rock to Vork, right? Like the re um, invert colors, like when Taro had it, no, when Jiro had it, because, um, because you know, Taro and Jiro, the brothers, and stuff like that, they have the same Beyblade, just, you know, colors are kind of inverted to match his color scheme. I don't think they did, they didn't do it for Rise, and, and that, that's like a booster pack color, color essentially. So yeah, you give them a booster pack Beyblade, boys. They did it. <laughs> yeah, I just got that as a joke. I thought like they just kind of did that as a joke. Um, I think right here is what, um, super, I know, yeah, Hyperion's thing, um, um, or Helios say, um, Super Satum, oh, Super Satum, I just know that, that's a Super Saturn, I got, that one, can I look up these leaks and stuff like that, I was like, where do you get the names from? So yeah, um, Super, um, Satan right here, or Satum, I, I got the name of stuff, that's Japanese name, actually, the color scheme actually looks nice on it, has a chassis, so I guess all the main characters are gonna have chassis, this is where Brave Rock Trick didn't have one, I guess you can incorporate it, it's like a slash, it's like a disc slash chassis thing, I guess, not gonna be feed through or whatever, like the, um, the attack of Tommy is though, but again, they're trying to add it like for extra weight because the um, points are going to be all be metal and then the fortress and stuff like that. It has like chassis, it's like not really a chassis, like that has extra extra gonna work, it's like a disc kind of thing. Again, it could work like it. I don't know how it's gonna structure. I might do some unboxing videos for it. I like the color scheme on it though, it looks really good. Like, so tune with evil. I like it. Um, I actually do like it. Um, I think it's really good for the color scheme. I really do like that color scheme, it's actually really good. The course we have here, we have um, super um, nose spear. Dondrin? Jordan? Um, I, draw, um, Jaws are, I think, draw, draw it. I, I know it's big because it's been like every series already. It does have a chassis or whatever. I know this one's really popular for Hasbro because it's been it's every series pack. Um, I did remember because it had like all white like, armored blades on it. I definitely remember this one. It looked like, kind of like Judgment Joker a little bit. So if I mispronounced the name or not, because, um, a lot of people probably get on me about that, about that because I the name, but I think it's really nice though. Again, some of the videos might push out early, cause, just because, you know, it's completely different from the main videos or whatever. Because again, I don't know how I'm going to structure it. I want to put them out of order, because like, that's how I am, but I want to, you know, make sure this one gets over this one, that one gets over that one, and stuff like that. So, yeah. Um, looks like really, I don't know why I'll uh, change it there for a second, but actually it looks really nice though for this. It looks really nice for a blaze, stuff like that, look really nice for it, the blue color. And yeah, the ghost teams for this look really nice. Um, they definitely right here is, um, just a random, I guess, booster pack for, um, uh, which we call it, um, 
Um, I forgot the OB just. I, I completely forgot the name. Let's look at the Japanese version because I know a lot of people are like, oh yeah, the Japanese version, you know, like the names to play after the Bay Blades. They like the Japanese version of them and stuff like that, you know, like, my league's like, um, like, you know, we always, like, one day I was looking up on Walmart.com, which is looking at some Bay stuff for some Bay Blades video ideas. And I was like, oh yeah, oh, we got this because, um, this is for, um, um, I um, think they said, like, I think what was surprising, though, like, what was surprising, they had, like, the uh, image, like, from the Japanese version, but, like, oh, yeah, Japanese version is going to be in store, but it's in just the name and stuff like that. I think it's going to talk about Achilles, you know, there's this new stadium, another um, new storm stadium, I think, so, yeah, it's really good out there. Um, you guys know the little mini pockets in there, just have the um, side, little mini, like, you know, same deal by on the side. Turbo Achilles, Brave Voucher, I guess they're going to resell those in the store and stuff like that again. We have Hyperion in the single pack, so, um, can I zoom in there? Yeah, that's what I really go right there. So yeah, I guess how it's gonna be buy it when you buy um he oh, Helios. This is Helios. We got on um, Helios. This is gold and the blue edition. This is what happens when you buy it in a separate pack. When you get like a one pack. Yeah, this is um half those colors and stuff like that. You can easily get it one pack. Actually, it's nice the gold with the blue. Actually, looks nice like inverted colors and stuff like that. Again, no red spark chips. All fusion of one, so it doesn't really matter. Um, but again, you can still use rising music and stuff like that. All it does go work with the rise system because they're put two, two completely different systems. Looks nice, looks beautiful, see through because again, before it's kind of hollow. It's like hollow, it looks like transparent, hollow, and see through. Um, again, it's not much of both. I feel like going with this. I do kind of like it though because that's how the bit aren't like, you know, for here. I guess they weren't going to try to play do it. Maybe they tried it. It's like, okay, the coats kind of look bad or whatever. But yeah, um, looks really nice though. Um, I know right here's um, the um, pack it comes in. Um, right here. Sorry, I do not have my other mouse using here. It's kind of dying today. So yeah, at least I was in the pack and stuff like that. It looks really nice, good. Again, like, no stickers or whatever. It still looks good though, like the implants and stuff like that. Right here, like I said, chassis right here. I think it's like a disc right there. Not really chassis, but it does have yeah, metal in the system. Like I said, I said they could do that before anyway though. So let me just go up here a little bit more. So yeah, um, more stuff right here for the chassis. Um, like I said, the chassis, again, you know, the whole striking chip like right here is going to be not available. But it's going to be like, you know, Oh, and the one. So he has a right spinning wheel. Is this Helios or that's a Hyperion? Is he on the side? See, it's super Hyperion. Okay, this is Hyperion. That was Helios. Cause, okay, this is Hyperion. Yeah, inverted color. It is weird because it looks like, it just looks look just like Helios. So that means Helios could look like Hyperion. Could be like it could be like um right and stuff like that. Again, this um it, we buy a separate pack. We don't have the other information for it, but yeah, the chassis um is good. It's, good, it's not really a chassis, just like a disc kind of on the side. You can customize it and stuff like that. That's basically what it is for. But it's an attack type, bright spinning beam blade. It will have heavy metal like it is on the um, print box and stuff like that. So that's really good stuff there. Again, typical stuff I went over rock the board in my other videos. So yeah, um, I just go here. No, because I actually want to use it for um crystal tomb right here. So yeah, um, again, the rollers are all on there. Like, you know, it looks look like freaking like hard like jello candy right there um yeah it actually looks nice though again the color scheme stuff like that looks nice has got to have metal heavy metal on it and stuff like that looks nice looks amazing has the rollers on it looks good for it and stuff like that again keep it to the original designs looks really good i think we'll also have a chassis but if you do, if you want to just buy the, the super um Satoom and stuff like that um is a um just defense type though so of course you have the rollers heavy metal hard performance is actually really good it has hurricane um i think from rise i think that's rise hurricane so i guess they can i don't think they had a chassis though in the anime i gotta go back and see it it's been a minute um, because I don't think they have a chassis for it, so yeah, it has Hurricane from Rise, but that, like, um, how, I think, and yeah, because, um, I think, because they, they want you to customize with a disc and stuff like that, I don't think it had a chassis, yeah, it's been a minute, um, for what's supposed to have Super Heavy Metal to have the whole, like, drift mechanic like it did before, this is our second set tomb, though, if you want to buy the other ones, go ahead, because, again, when this comes out in stores and stuff like that, I will officially care myself, I'm going to do an unboxing video for it, because those videos aren't going to be that long, maybe, um, because they've been years since I did an unboxing video, just trying to do new stuff for the channel, it's like that, okay, uh, it's going to have Super Heavy Metal, again, it's going to have Hurricane, this guy has crazy defense but no attack. That's how I felt. That was the Ultra Tomb. It had like no attacking, but only near the end when it came around. It has good stamina near the end, really trying to like roll out and stuff like that. Um, but for rollers for this one, those can be a little more effective than the last one. Because I actually don't screw myself. I have it over here, but under my bed. But, um, get really real right now. But, um, I think mean, for not for attack or something, for what, um, God, ba Bailey versus God slash, so, you know, evolution. But yeah. Um, overall though, really nice little update for the big ones and stuff like that. Looks really good, looks, looks really nice. Again, typical stuff, chip, rollers, kind of a lot of good rollers for defense, so you want to use that. The rollers are actually really good though. It, it basically has more on here, so it's going to be really more effective. Hurricane again is pretty good, okay, again, they want pretty good. You, it doesn't match them. I think, yeah, because you'd have Hurricane in the anime. I don't think it had a chassis though, but again, the whole disc chassis thing, they want you to kind of customize and do it yourself. And of course, a roller for the um, performance tip and stuff like that is going to be looking really nice too. They have a lot of heavy metal, so it's going to have, again, um, more defensive power. I guess they're trying to put more metal because a lot of people are complaining about, oh yeah, we don't have enough metal or whatever in the Rise products and stuff like that. Because um, they got and took it away from like all the other products and stuff like that. Besides, like, I think, like, um, 
I think I think Brave, I think Wonder, not Wonder, I think it was like Trooper of Eldrick had that, or had like metal and stuff like that in it, implemented. Uh, people were playing about guys back here, I didn't have that type of thing with the, you know, if you have like a disc crew, you have like rubber on it and stuff like that. Because they had like shock absorbers, you can like like absorb break and stuff like that. That was pretty much it, I guess they didn't want to make it too broken or whatever, but it still was good though. I still think that's like the, 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 the best fact in, in my opinion. Though. Uh, just because you do so much stuff, you know, just absorbing wise, so, like, you know, it'll drag a 5.0, but yeah. Good way to end the video here. Like I said, really good stuff for Rise right now. Um, really good stuff, I mean, for Sparking right now, or Surge. All the same thing here. We've got Satune, we've got Hyperion, um, Box Art, and stuff like that, of course. Again, we got lots of new stuff, lots of new product, Rise products, we've got new Beyblades coming in for um, Servo, and stuff like that. Again, gonna go ahead and end the video here. Again, a little bit more of a Beyblade update video right here. So, yeah, see you guys later, though. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Great. All cool, gentle candles. Those are my full thoughts, full opinions on all the new Beyblade Burst Sparking products coming up. Surge um, products coming up. Again, again, the name's gonna be kind of confusing the last couple of times. See ya. Well, like I said, though, pretty nice, pretty simple. Again, really cool stuff. Like I said, again, though, um, we'll try to link all below if I can. See ya. See you guys later, though. Again, though, peace out.